Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the new Drake Cutter Rambler, which is the third variant of the Drake Cutter series. We have the Scout, we have the Base. This is called the Rambler, and it is... Hang on, let me just get down. It's the Exploration Variant. So on top, as you can see up there, it has, I don't know what's going on with the mouse cursor there. Uh, it has extended a f uh, fuel tank. So basically it has three size three quantum fuel tanks and three size three normal general fuel tanks as well. So it allows for, uh, I don't know what's going on with my mouse cursor. That's acting very strange. It allows for being out in the field for longer without having to refuel. It has the accommodation inside to, well, to accommodate that. Uh, but it does sacrifice a couple of standard cargo units of cargo capacity. Now, the the base one has four SEU. This variant only has two. But it's not intended to be a cargo runner. Yes, you can carry a couple of SEU, but yeah, that, that's it. And uh, I think that the idea of this is more that it's going to be personal effects. Resources like sustenance, food, drink weapons, ammunition, tools, and equipment for your uh, your exploration. Rather than anything that is going to be of any use, um, as in, like, transporting goods for people, that's not the intention of this ship. Now, I actually have, or had a base cutter variant, and I upgraded it to this one. I... <sighs> Personally, just because I just like the style of it and I think the idea of it being a solo exploration ship or entry into that career, that mechanic, was kind of cool. We don't really have a lot in that area. Like, the, the, the exploration mechanic itself or the career path is not all that fleshed out right now. We are still waiting on the star map, radars, scanners, that kind of thing to be able to do that properly. But even now, you know, exploring places like this, I think this is Harper's, Harper's Rest on Microtech. It's nice to be able to have a vehicle, like, not really a home away from home because it's Drake. It doesn't have that sense of comfort, but it has everything you will need. And if you're like me and really like the Drake style, then it's definitely a good choice. But we'll have a look. In fact, let's just do a tour of the outside with the, the weapon. So it has... Uh, two size two weapons on a gimbal, and then two size two missiles, which I think they're stored under here somewhere. They pop open when you open up the uh, the missile hatch, uh, and that's it. You know, it's, it, again, it's not a cargo ship. It's not a combat ship. It has weapons. It can hold its own to a degree, provided you are somewhat capable. I do like the lighting, though. I will show you this once we get inside. It has these two top spotlights, which I really do like. I think that's the mouse smoothing going on there. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, it's got your basic lighting that the normal Drake has, but then at the top you've got those two floodlights, which is really nice. And the thrusters are certainly something that I prefer on this model versus the base model, where you've got sort of four... Well, two larger ones, two smaller ones compacted together. Uh, and it does act as VTOL as well. So you have the v the vertical takeoff and landing, which is going to be very useful when we get more of the flight mechanics and master modes being able to have sustained stability, I suppose, while you're uh, hovering around. Uh, in terms of thrusters, it has two main, four retro and 14 maneuvering. That's a maneuvering thruster right there. I believe these might be the two main. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say, but these might be the uh, the retros. Or the main. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's take a look inside. Uh, one design change that is, as they say, purely the rule of cool are these... I want to say... Uh, spoilers, but I don't know if they work as spoilers. Hopefully, with it having a bit of surface area, they can utilize them for atmospheric flight where we have control surfaces. But at, the, at this time, they are just rule of cool. They, have, they serve no purpose. They just look nice. Uh, and I do agree with that. So let's close her up. Now, in terms of components, we, they are all 
stored here in the back. It is a much more compact cargo hold than the, the base one. This is your cargo bay right here where you can stack up two SEU. But again, you have to have one or two times one SEU. You can't really plop a two SEU box here. I mean, you can probably fit it in, but it won't be technically clamped to the floor, I believe. So stacking two. And the idea being you bring a box that we now have available in 322 that you can actually fill up with goods or personal effects and things that you might need for your journey. Uh, but as you can see here, we they're all size one components, and I believe there is all that is just one of each, uh, excluding one thing maybe. No, I think they're all size ones, aside from the fuel tanks. So you got one size one shield generator, cooler, gravity generator, which is nice. They're mentioning those now because they will be applicable um, in the resource network. Uh, one size one fuel intake. One size one battery, size one life support as well, which will probably be on the bridge. And the computer uh, is size one, but the radar is a size two. And again, those, the computer and the radar, and I think the life support. I could be wrong about life support. They're generally on the bridge. We'll, we'll take a look when we get through there. But one size one power plant, size one quantum drive, jump drive. Uh, they're all size ones. It is a, an entry level ship into a specific career being exploration. So, yeah, cargo hold, not much to be seen there. Very small and compact. Uh, the toilet, compared to the previous version, is now here. They've just sort of flipped it around from being here, which makes a lot of sense, really, in terms of use of space. And it's just your bog standard toilet. <laughs> uh, one thing I did just realize is you get extra storage for weapons. There is one of these and one of those on the on the bridge, I suppose. Whereas here you get two more size, two weapons, or, you know, above a pistol, four more slots for tools and pistols here, uh, and then a large weapon holder there um, with maybe room for ammo storage. I'm not sure yet. That is not storage there. Anyway, so we have your bunk. You have a desk, which is a nice addition. Right now, I've just got my pistol, a sniper on there, and some little knickknacks. Really nice to have this as a, a place to sort of sit and chill, maybe inspect artifacts if you're an explorer and you like collecting Tavaran artifacts, or war medals, or um, Hadesian artifacts, sorry. That's a bit of dollar vine. Great place to just stop bits there or just resources you know if you've got food drink you want to put somewhere that is accessible you can do this is kind of nice for inspecting things as well although it doesn't work right now when you put something on top of this it just falls through so whatever this surface is it's not really registering it uh, but i think this is supposed to be your drinks and food serving machine so you'll be able to fill that up at port and it will keep you going for a while uh, nice to have a monitor here. These will be functional, maybe for the resource network, maybe for just watching television and, and so on. Uh, oh, this is storage here by the looks of things. Yeah, so you do get 650,000 micro SEU of personal storage, which is nice. Great spot for, for storing things. Um, do we have any underbed things? At the moment, it doesn't look like it, but these will probably be utilized at some point. I think these are for the fire hydrant. Once we get that mechanic in, which is coming along well. And then the bridge is, I believe, exactly the same as any other Drake uh, cutter variant. Here we go. Life support avionics, which is your computer. Uh, and this is where you'll be slotting the blades into your uh, CPU. Hmm. I don't see... What was it I was looking for? The gravity generator doesn't seem to be on the bridge might be somewhere else but yeah you got your weapon storage and large weapon storage there oh um and we do have a suit locker i completely forgot about this you have a nice suit locker there for just storing your armor once that becomes properly physicalized rather than as we have it now which is just in boxes it will eventually be a physical armor piece be that a helmet chest piece arms legs uh, that you will be able to store in these places and a little reading light which is always a nice touch there you go 
So that, that that's the Drake Cutter. We'll take it for a little spin. See how she flies. But overall, I really enjoy the ship. Um, it's more designed for people who just want to explore. Oh, there is this seat as well, which is quite nice. If you're, if you're ferrying someone along, you can ask them to sit there. Or you can sit there yourself. It's up to you. But yeah, it's more designed for someone who is into the solo exploration. Just dipping their toes into that mechanic. Uh, right now, it isn't there. So, the only exploration we have is visiting these sorts of places, which has just had a performance pass, which is nice. So I can actually come here and get a somewhat decent frame rate without it causing problems. Um, but yeah, once it gets extended with the, the new star map, being able to scan further ahead and jump to places uh, of interest, it'll be very useful. I don't think it's the sort of ship that you're going to be plotting jump points and finding new worlds, but as a solo entry into exploration, I think there's a lot of use cases for those who just want to get started with it. Yes, if you can afford it or if you, you've grind your, your way through, you can probably get a better exploration ship. I mean, you can definitely get a better exploration ship. But I think in terms of just functionality, use, usability and design, which isn't to everybody's taste, it is to mine, then the Rambler is a bit of a beast. Let's just turn her on. So these are your thrusters. Rotating for VTOL. Quite big thrusters as well. So I think you're going to be able to hover and sustain hovering flight for quite some time. But we'll take it for a quick spin. And see how she fares. But I think, I don't think there's any change in the way they fly versus the base cutter. We do have the retractable uh, or deployable blast shields, which is nice. That's always something I've liked about the cutter. Ravanga down there, I don't know who that belongs to. There was also a Banu defender flying around, but he seems to have gone. Wait a minute. Maybe that's where he went. <laughs> Let's go and see if he's all right. I'm assuming he's not. This ship tour has turned into a scavenging opportunity. Oh, landing gear. Oh, did I just do that? Let's just check this out, see what's here. Poor guy. I don't know what happened. I saw him flying overhead as I was coming in, as you'll probably see on the intro video uh, of this of this video. But yeah, he uh, doesn't look like he's had a good time. Just turned smoothing off. There we are. It's very strange. Smoothing makes the video look nice, but uh, it doesn't bode well for uh, first-person FPS. Says it all when I would pick up an assault rifle versus a med pen instead. Hello? Don't suppose you survived the crash, did you? Anybody? Doesn't look good, does it? Poor guy. I think he was coming down to check out Harper's Point. Maybe saw me coming in and thought he'd land a bit further away, but... That didn't go well. Look at those sparks flying off of whatever that is. Got the weapons there, though. I could probably take those, but I don't have a tractor beam, I don't think. Ooh. Hello? Yeah, I think it's safe to say he dead now. Nice design is the uh, the Banu ship. Anyway, we're, we're digressing away from the point of the video, which was supposed to be looking at the Drake Rambler. But as you can see, exploration. Just flying around now with persistence and ships lying around after they've crashed. Let's see if we can get in. But no, I think it's going to be a useful ship, as I say, for those stepping foot, like dipping their toes into the exploration mechanic. 
you're not going to be able to do a, a whole load of stuff with it. But you can at least head out, do some exploration, um, see what you can find. Yeah, he's dead. Might take the weapons, though. I might just do that off camera. But there you go. That is the Drake Rambler. Very nice ship. Flies just like any other Drake Rambler, uh, any Drake Cutter does. I'm a fan. Some people might not be because it doesn't have a whole load of use cases when you've got other ships available for exploration. But as I say, if you're just starting out and you want to do exploration focused uh, gameplay, when that mechanic really starts to come along, this is going to be the, the ship for you. But with that said, I'm going to start taking a look at the X1. Oh, actually, before we do go, I am actually giving away a Drake Cutter Rambler LTI game package, which is courtesy of Cloud Imperium. So a big thank you to them for providing this giveaway. All you have to do to win is firstly be a subscriber and then comment on any video that I put out between the 18th and the 24th of December. And then I will pick a random video, a random comment and give that away. Uh, next, we will be looking at either the Santo Kiai by Apoa or the X1 from Origin. Uh, we do have an Origin X1 giveaway going on on Twitch, but I think that might have finished now. I was going to do that today being uh, Wednesday, but this video is probably going to go out a bit later. So uh, if you've missed that, I do apologize, but there will be more giveaways going. Again, big thank you to Cloud Imperium for that. This is the Drake Rambler. Make sure you are subscribed to take part in the giveaway, but also just to keep up with all of the news and information going on with Star Citizen. Uh, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You are all more than welcome over there. We're probably going to be starting a bit more of a Zero to Hero stuff going on, but right now I think I just want to do some salvaging in my vulture. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. Does the channel a big favor. Tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Uh, a big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.